Yo, today, just now, super fucking excited. Ready starting off the year with the goals being completed. Just went ahead and uploaded my manuscript to Amazon with the book covers and the review right on time for the release. Second book publishing within three years. And I w- and there's more to come. I, I'm not going to stop writing. This is always been my passion. Technology makes it easy now to get your product out there. You know, um, if it doesn't sell well, that's okay. I'll figure out what, what I did wrong as far as promoting, marketing it, and I'll do better. You know, this was more of a creative thing for me. Um, and, and money was really tight. Um, money was really, really tight. Um, but I got a good job now. Um, so I'm going to be writing and working. Like, you know, people, like, at first of all, I'm super excited. So I'm crazy fucking ooh, just, just excited, right? But listen, you have to start off somewhere. I've been, like I said, this is my third year, second book out. Uh, pandemic happened in between, you know, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for work, like, you know, but I found the habit of working for a great place. You know, I can't deny that right now. Um, really, really um, exciting place, actually. A lot of potential. But at the same time, I'm not going to give up my writing. You know, I did that in the past and I uh, gave up my writing for my work. And I thought that was the the realm and I have to just work both of them. I have to just do both of them at the same time. And um there's no changing that no more. There's there's no just sacrificing one thing for another anymore. Right. And I'm gonna make this and this is my passion, this is my love. I just love to write. You know, if and when the day I can make money off my writing, then it's fantastic. No doubt about it. Um obviously there's authors out there that I do. I just have to build my following. That takes time. Doesn't happen overnight. Um, so my life is out. Well, my life is up, loaded right now into Amazon. Poetry, a collection of poems based off my my childhood, kind of my teenage years and my my young adulthood. And they're all mixed in. So you kind of get different views at different times. And then they're not in no type of order. But um Go after what you want to do, but understand that you're going to have to still work. You're going to have to put the work in still on a regular nine to five. Um, On top of you, this thing on the side. There's nothing wrong with you just going after a career, but if you're the type of person that you want to do something else, you're creative, you got to put the work in, you know, these past few years, I've been putting the work in. Probably could have put a little more work in. This year, I'm really going to put more work in than usual um, into my my craft. And I'm looking at the next 10 years to really build this up. That's why I said 10 years. Um, of course, more than that. But these next this next decade, like I need to make the, the 20s, the roaring 20s for me, like it was back in the 1900s. Right. I need to make this my renaissance. I need to make this about really promoting myself, getting myself out there and building my brand. Point blank, period. Won't stop. I have my goals. Like I always transfer my goals to a like a post it, whatever. My goals for you. I'm sure you guys can see that. Uh that's kind of wonky, but my goals are on here just for today. Um, and the book was to be uploaded as one goal. The next is to record this podcast when I have right now. Then I have to edit another podcast and it come out tomorrow. And um, then I, you know, wake the family up, have fun with them, you know, get breakfast ready and stuff like that. I, I do all my stuff early in the morning so I can get things done and still have time for the family. Um, working out, taking care of myself. I just went to, on Friday, I went to get my physical done for the year. 
my blood pressure, which I've had for many years, you know, I'm morbidly obese, you know, um, got to get that under control, which I have been. I know I've, I was 305 back, back in November. I'm down to 283. So it's going the right direction. The best still has to lose more weight. Went to the gym yesterday. Um, went to the gym today. And the way for the, my blood results as well, make sure not, I'm not diabetic, which is good. Waiting for the other results to come in and uh, see what else I need to take care of. But the biggest thing is just you know, taking care of myself and uh, doing what I want to do, do, do I want to do the things that I love. And I can't do those things or sustain my life or, or protect my family or love my family if I'm not a fucking rat. Right. So this, this year is about just definitely multitasking in a way that I never have before. And I hate the word fucking multitasking, but I guess just doing more like multiple things that's beneficial to the outcome that I'm looking for. I'm not just trying to be busy just to be busy. I'm just going to focus on my writing this year and of course my health. That's it for my vision board. That's it. I'm going to focus on my writing and my health. I have nothing else going on my vision board. I just find when you put too many things in your vision board, you get distracted, at least for me. So I'm putting two things down, just focus on my health and my poetry. You know, and um, learn, you know, read. I'm gonna, my goal this year too is to read 25 books. Last year I had the same goal, I only read seven. Um, so, you know, if I'm going to continue being a writer, I have to continue reading, right? So that's the biggest thing right there is continue fucking reading, continue making things happen. You have to educate yourself. You have to educate yourself about your craft. You have to get to know people who are in your craft. You have to be, befriend people who are in your craft, support people who are in your craft, because that's, that's how you get support back. So... But man, I'm just excited. You can't hear it in my voice. I'm just super fucking stoked. But yeah, it's, it's all about taking care of myself. You know, being self-loving, mental health, all that. With that, you know, I'm on my high blood pressure medication, which is great. My birthday is this week on January 13th. I'll be 44 years old. So it's... um. It's imperative, to, imperative that I take care of myself and take care of my, take care of my mental game and um, go after my craft and just continue to to push forward, have a blast. And right now, things are, are looking good. There's always going to be strife and troubles and tribulations as you go on in life. You no, know, nothing's ever always perfectly happy all the time. But, um, you know, I want those, those challenging times of hard, really tough times to come very few than when it has in the past, you know, a couple of years has been many. Of course, I have to fault myself from a lot of those as well. So I, I can't really blame no one. No, can't even blame the universe. I have to blame just my fucking self. But now, you know, the goal to be successful is that now the process, oh, it's, it's crazy because I was writing this book. As I was writing this book, you know, I was so excited for it. And now it's done. Now it's in the ether. It's done. There's nothing else for me to do on this book now, but just promote it more. But I won't be working on it. Now I'm going to be outlining my next project. And I know what it is. It's my 10-year fucking novel that I've been writing called Brooklyn Love. <laughs> And um, I might self-publish again. I might look for an agent. You know, do a, you know? If, to look for an agent, you have to like. It's a whole song and dance to to find an agent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't, I don't like I don't like doing that because I I write to be artistry. I don't like to write a fucking essay. Some people are good at that. Some people just love to, you know, can write essays or be a great journalist and, and write that way, be very descriptive and 
and uh, understanding in the, the language of text so you can understand. I'm work of that artist, so I'm like writing an entire um, proposal doesn't excite me. Um, not to say I can't do it. It's more like it's just not my style. Like it's just, I just have to see. You know, if that's part of that's part of the industry norm. I guess I have to just fucking do it. Find some people who have done it. Ask them any questions. You know, get a mentor. Um, have them you know critique and tweak my shit as much as possible. Um, before I put things out there. But if not, that felt good, and I will be. Um, publishing it myself again. That's it. Hundred percent. Just publish it my fucking self. You can do it nowadays, man. You don't need that fucking middleman. And no doubt, I'm wrong. Like publishing houses are still great. They have a lot of fucking connections. They know how to market your shit. They know your demographic. I have to gain. I have to do all that from scratch. Um, I got to put money behind my book, you know, so, um, next coming weeks, I'm going to probably take out some Facebook ads about my book and, and draw some attention to it and see what happens from there and continue going on social media, you know, maybe do some boosts on Instagram, see if that works, do more research on that. So even though my overall vision or goals is for my health and continue writing, it doesn't mean that I'm not doing more things behind the scenes, right? So it doesn't mean that I'm not saving my money. Like, you know, it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not getting financially healthy either. Um, that's, that's there. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, again, that I don't, that I stopped learning. That's, that's not going to happen. And I'm still going to do research and learn. And, but the, the main goals was going to get the, the undivided attention. It's going to be my health and my writing. Right. Uh, I don't want to put too much on my plate to where I'm taking away from that. So as other things are there on the other underbelly on the underlining surface, um, I'm working on st stuff on top the stuff on the summit is there. So climbing this mountain was fantastic. You know what I'm saying? The process was amazing. Writing my first poetry book. I know I'm, I'm rambling and ranting in different directions, but I'm just like scatterbrained right now because I'm so fucking happy. Just feel it inside today. This was fucking fantastic. And uh, I can actually have a greater feeling right now. You know, um, my kids being born, to marrying my wife, to now, you know, only very few moments in my life that I feel like this happiness here. Um, and to take to capture those moments again and again. And now, you know, I can say I'm recording them now, you know, like my podcast to go back to it or even for my family to go back for it or, you know, legacy, you know, family in the future to be able to have this recorded. It's huge for me. So, um, they're super happy, man. They're super ecstatic. Like, it's just, uh, you got to keep on pushing. You got to keep on going on. So, it's January the 9th. My birthday is January 13th. I'll be 44 years old. And I just published my second fucking book within three years. Congratulations to me. Make sure you guys learn how to pat yourself on the fucking back. Make sure you fucking do that. Um, I shared it with the right people in the process. You know, I didn't share my process with everybody. I would update my wife. Um, where I was at in the book, but it wasn't very much detailed about you know what was going in the book. You know, um, poetry is is for a select few of people. It's a very niche crowd, right? So. Um, my Brooklyn love stories are urban love stories. So, you know, so it's not a niche crowd. You know, it's probably a little bit bigger than poetry. Um, 
um, poetry has a hot button right now, whereas you know a lot of people are are in it, and there's a kind of like I said, new renaissance of people coming out. Um, I want to be part of that. I just want to be you know part of that to where people are 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 getting to hear my voice through my text, right through my poetry, which is very unique. It's very different to me. I don't write like no one else I know. So, and even though I read a lot, I've taken all those influences and, and has molded into who I am now. And the more I read, the more I write, the more I'm going to grow. So, man, super fucking exciting. Super exciting. This book has some poems in it where it gets super personal. Uh, I talk about my molestation. I talk about my mom and my pops who passed away. I talk about my bio dad who wasn't there. I talk about my best friend's dad who was there and took me to my first ball game. Um, I talk about me skipping school <laughs> where I used to tell my mom. I talk about my mom and, and, and the things that she would do and how she would do it because I'm Puerto Rican. So we have a, our culture do things very sim, you know, just differently. Um, so the people of the culture, people of Hispanic culture would understand what the chunk of that is. <laughs> right. Um, to be honest about growing up in Brooklyn and how hard it is to grow up in a hood and live through it and survive it. Um, So you could hear it from me first. This book has Easter eggs in it to where this is my first poetry book. It has 13 pieces of my abstract artwork in it. And it has 78 poems. So we're in 113.78 is my birthday. So you heard it from me here first. So in the future, and you know, if this thing blows up, you know, you guys have some inside information as far as the metaphor of the book itself. Um, you know, whatever else the universe has from me, I'm definitely willing to accept it either direction. You know, we're going to work really hard to make sure that the universe and that pendulum swings to the positive side, again, great vibes. Um, yeah, man, just go after what you want. Go after it hard. Don't take no for an answer. Don't listen to fucking no one. Honestly, don't share shit with no one. Just share it with, with the people that should know about it or who can help you with it. A lot of those, a lot of times, those are new people here to befriend that's in whatever hobby or craft that you're in. Families and friends are not really going to understand. That's fine. Um... That's when you need to find your tribe. You have to find your tribe. But man, growth never stops, man. We're not 44, and the goal is to continue doing what I do. I said, I'm make sure I'm successful in my job. Give them my focus and attention while I'm there. Um, give my writing the attention and the focus that it needs um, to my health as well. Make sure I'm. You know, as you guys see me doing these videos once a week to my podcast, you know, I'm going to be losing the weight. I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm supposed to be fucking doing. So, it's going to be really exciting. There it is. Um, I wish I put this in bullet points, but this is, I'm just like so excited I had to share this with you guys, man. Like, it's just crazy. And I want to exude... My creativity when exude who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like no more hiding behind my pen. You know, Jenny Nomad is a published author. And uh no one can take that away from me. No one. I am an author. I am a writer. And I just wrote a book of poetry. 
So fuck all you haters. Fuck all you hoes. And suck a dick, motherfucker. Peace out.